Smith. And as voters head to the polls this week, you might notice a little bit more of a crowd than usual. More people register in the run-up to a primary than in an off year. News 5's Chad Petrie has a look at the numbers. There's a lot on the ballot for voters, and there will be a few more of them this year than in 2012. Between September of last year and just this last week, the number of registered Alabama voters has grown by more than 54,000 people. Looking at all counties statewide, Baldwin had one of the highest growth percentages in the state, growing their voter rolls at 2.8 percent. It says to me that uh, Baldwin Countyans are very uh, politically uh, involved and very politically informed, and they want to make a statement in this presidential primary. Probate Judge Tim Russell says even though Baldwin leans heavily to the right, with so many people moving here from out of state, Republican results in the presidential race should reflect which way the GOP is leaning nationally. Well, in Baldwin County, we're blessed because uh, so much of our growth, you know, is from folks from all over the nation, retirees. All 50 states are represented here. The last primary presidential election was a record breaker for Baldwin County with 70% voter turnout. And in order for that record to be broken again this time around, more than 92,152 people will have to cast a ballot in Baldwin County alone. Presidential elections where there is no incumbent seem to drive more voter registration than when a president is seeking re-election. Alabama voter rolls grew by a smaller margin in the lead-up to the primary in 2012 than the same period this time around. In Baldwin County, Chad Petrie, News 5. Data for this story came from the Alabama Secretary of State's office. Officials there are also proud of the state's online voter registration system. At least 44,000 people have either registered to vote or updated their registration since the system was introduced about a month ago.